We get together here on Wednesdays and talk about the early days of single sideband. A lot of us are on uh, very vintage radios, and I was telling the guys a while ago, this radio that I'm on right now started out its life in World War II as a BC-458 and KG-7TR based on a, uh, a schematic in QST-1956 built it into a phasing-type single sideband exciter. And uh, buy-sell trades are welcome if they're vintage radio-related. If you've got a problem with a radio you're working on, this is a good place to ask for some help because a lot of people know a lot of things here. Okay, I'm going to call some people. I'm going to call four or five people, then I'll give it to Guy, then give it to Jay, give it to Rusty. We'll just go around the table. Sooner or later, somebody will hear you and we'll pick you up. Uh, CXG, hey, Bob, you still hanging out up there? How about it? K5LYN. Yes, sir, I'm hanging out just fine. K5CXG on old 820. That I got from Dan here a while back. Uh, not doing too much, just like everybody else. Just, you know, trying to make sense out of all this. And uh, we're, we're hanging in there. Uh, may go hib hibernate out at the lake after the weekend or something like that. We can still go out there. Uh, it's unreal. Anyway, uh, my question for the net, my technical question is, I've got an electric voice mic here, and it has a transformer inside. Now I'm going to add a capacitor uh, to it to get some more highs out of it, and I was curious to know whether this capacitor should be added before or after the transformer. So one of you guys who's done that might, I mean, I could, it's not going to be a big deal to try it, but I just want to know right off the bat if anybody has an idea on that. Do you add the do you add your capacitance before the transformer or after it? Anyway, that's my question and uh that's it for me, Lynn. Everybody is sounding super good right now. I hope it stays for a while. Okay, five sixty. All right, I've got, I got a question for you, Bob, then we'll see if anybody has some thoughts. The capacitor you're talking about, you're going to put it in series with the with the hot lead or, or to ground. Uh, that would make a difference in what it does. I'm, or, I'm going to try it first in series with the, with the lead, hot lead. Okay, anybody have a thought for Bob? Well, that's where they used to feed mobile antennas back in the old days before the inductance coils, where they would feed uh, uh, either 750 or, or 500 or 1,000 uh, peak comparative capacitance, uh, depending on which band you're operating on, more capacitance for the, the lower frequency. And if that's what you're using for tuning an antenna, that's what I would do. Okay. Well, I would just think if you put a cap on it, that'll, that'll raise the audio frequency response, won't it, uh, Jeff? Well, uh, I couldn't hear him because of the other stations out there that was interfering. But uh, a series capacitor will probably raise the frequency response. A parallel capacitor to ground would uh, uh, bypass it and probably lower it somewhat. Jeff, what he wants to do is put some more highs in the C-104. The lows not get through. Bob, did that give you any help? Yeah, it does. I'll, I'll try it after the transformer first and see what happens. I'll, I'll listen. Maybe somebody else has played with one of these old electric voices and has had to do that. Okay. All right, Bob. Good signal. I, I can hear a tiny little bit of hum on your end. That might be from an amplifier, a fan, or something. No, it's it's just the mic uh, cable laying right next to the, the side of the A20. It also might be the uh, AM or I can hear in the background. So so take what I said with a grain of salt. Great to hear you, Bob. Anything else for the net? That should do it. All right. Let me see if uh, John, KF5RZ. John, are you still out there somewhere? K5LYN. Yeah, KF5RZN, Canyon Lake, Texas. I'm still out here uh, running uh, TSA 30 uh, with uh, about 750 watts behind it on an inverted V. Beautiful day out here at Canyon Lake. Still working. They haven't closed our business up yet. Uh, All right, Bob. Anyhow, uh, back to net, Lynn. Thank you. KF5RZN. John, what kind of business is it? Uh, it's a hardware store, uh, Ace Hardware. Well, hardware stores, yeah, they're open for business, grocery stores, drug stores, and liquor to stores. And they're all essential. <laughs> Glad to hear you. Hang in there. All right, how about Robert, WW9W here. What do you say, Robert? All righty. K5LYN, Andy Grove. Good evening. 
to you, Lynn. Good evening to uh, all of the boat anchor enthusiasts. Uh, I'm running the. Uh, I'm not running a boat anchor this evening. Uh, a side band boat anchor, Lynn. I'm running a side band boat. It's a. It's a boat. It's not an anchor. So I, I guess another ten years on it, I can make it a boat anchor. But right now, it's just a boat. It's a little TN 440 Sugar and this little homebrewed uh, microphone. I still, I'm still trying to find the specs on it here. My buddy that built it here, I can't even, can't even find the paperwork. Got a land right here somewhere, but uh, uh, the thing seems to work a okay. Uh, I had it on here before, and uh, with the uh, 922 amplifier and more, everybody just praised the doggone thing. So I got to get the uh, amplifier back in line. I've got a 922A to match it here, so. We'll have that back up and running here in a day or so. Well, other than that, good seeing you for a short period there, Lynn. And, Jay, you were so busy over there, all that you. I don't even think you had time. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, of course, I did get a chance to chat with uh, Doug there and a few others on a, uh, on a quick dash because Jim and I was on there about a minute. The only reason we were there, we had to drop off something and pick up something. So, appreciate you running this thing. Uh, Lynn, and uh, I'll hand it back over to you. K5LYN WW9W in Allen, Texas. Very good, Robert. Nice signal. Yeah, and I think that uh, microphone sounds okay. I just, uh, it doesn't really matter, but I was just kind of curious what it was. Uh, so if, if you uh, figure it out, uh, let us know next time around. Okay, I'm going to call uh, KE5Q, and I'm going to see if Matt wants to talk to us, then I'll give it to Guy. Uh, KE5Q, uh, Jim, you still there? K5LYN. Oh, yeah. Uh, K5LYN. Uh, in the net. This is KE5Q, about three miles from Robert there. And, yeah, we, it was good to see you guys at Belton, even though we weren't there very long. But uh, we did uh, get around and see uh, a bunch of people in that short amount of time. I'm on the uh, T4XB, R4B, and L4B. And that's going into the Ultimax 8040 uh, double bazooka. And the microphone is the Shure 444. And uh, copying everybody really good tonight. Uh, good to hear everybody on. And uh, my old buddy from high school, Byron, I think you've got that thing on frequency finally. Sounding good. K5LYN in the net. KE5Q Plano. Outstanding, Jim. The Drake twins are hard to beat. Uh, I've, uh, I've got them here, too, in uh, different situations, but uh, I use both of them, so nicely done. Okay, W5MIX. Matt, you want to talk to us? How about it? K5LYN. All right. He may have his hands tied up with the recording there, and I sure appreciate it. I listen to Matt's recordings from beginning to end every time. Uh, let's see if uh, my friend WD5H and I. Steve, are you there before I give it to the next guy? How about it? K5LYN. Yes, sir. Hello, Lynn. Uh, K5LYN and the multitude out there. WD5HNI. Uh, man, you got a super strong signal. I'll copy tonight. Over. Oh, you're great. You're great. Uh, you were telling us you might be uh, moving back to the old family place or something one of these days. Is that still the case, or are you going to stick with us a while? Oh, yeah, that's uh, coming, but right now everything's on hold, and uh, I haven't been down there in the last uh, couple of weeks, so, uh, but anyway, progress is, uh, remains the same, hopefully. But anyway, tonight we're on the uh, hybrid uh, rig, tonight we're on the uh, vintage, this is the Yesu 101 Zulu Delta, this is the one that has the pair of 6146s, I'm running barefoot right now, Lynn, uh, all that going into an open wire feeder, into a uh, four-wave loop for 160 feet points at about 38 feet, so that's the run down here. Over. It's talking up a storm, Steve. Okay, well, we're glad you're still around. It's always great to hear you on both uh, 80 and 20 here. And that station's working fine. Uh, anything else for the net this evening? No, oh, sir, that's about it. But I'm hearing a little carrier on the side, so is that, am I hearing the guys on the West Coast already popping in here? Yeah, yeah, we can hear them bubbling in the background. That's what it is. I was gonna th uh, 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 very good. I, I didn't think. I thought it was my radio. But anyway, all right, y'all have a good evening, and I'll listen out. wd 5 h and I. Y'all take care. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised to be hearing them this early. It's, uh, I mean, the sun just barely even set. That's weird. Band must be really good tonight. Okay, guy, W5CMK, it's probably your turn to talk. How about it, K5LYN? All righty there, Lynn. k 
W5LYN and the boat anchors net. This is W5CMK. Got a little uh, amplifier in the line there just in case I need to get over those west coasters over there. And uh, tonight I'm running my uh, my standard TR4, running a different mic. I don't know uh, from results of the testing that we did. Uh, it really doesn't make much difference, so it's still a Drake, and a Drake is always a Drake. But it's still working great. You need it to be done. All right. Uh, WD. Five JKO, I think. Uh, you still out there? Yeah, I'm here listening. Uh, good evening, gentlemen. Uh, WD5 JKO, Jim in Round Rock, Texas. Uh, running a Gonset G76 for transmit and uh, Flex 5000 for receive. That's it. Well, I guess that's uh, just about the ultimate uh, in-between uh, here, there, and yonder, right? It is. Uh, and I was trying to wait for 7.30, but, uh, oh, well, you called me. So since I'm running on AM, uh, um, oh, well. But anyway, this is the uh, the G76 transmit side, and it's uh, driving a 4811As. So back to net, WD5JKO, Round Rock, Texas. All right, Jim. Yeah, well, you were up close to the top of the list, and that's what uh, I'm just going down the list. So a uh, good deal sounding great. WB1E, Doug, did uh, we already get you? No, uh, the only thing uh, the only thing I'm getting is a lot of AM guys from the from the left coast. But anyway, uh, everybody else is doing S9 or better, so uh, no problem there. And good evening, everybody. This is Doug here and Brian WB1E coming to you this evening on a uh, Electro Voice uh, 638 uh, going out uh, through a uh, Swan 500. And uh, no, the power supply is not on top to keep it from drifting. I, I got it screwed down to the table, so hi, hi. And it's going out uh, barefoot tonight uh, through a piece of uh, RG213 all the way to the top of a 100-foot tower. And I just uh, pulled up uh, a, uh, a freshly cut, uh, a buzzed cut 75-meter uh, dipole, uh, inverted B configuration. So I hope uh, it sounded nice that tonight, hello, uh, doing about 300 watts. Uh, out through the power meter, uh, PEP. So one comment, Bob, I'd use a .1 uh, in series on the radio side uh, for your capacitor. And uh, that'll be a typical 600 volt. Uh, uh, you can use what they call an orange drop. .1 microfarad, I'd start and I'd go down to a .05. .05 may be the sweet spot. And that's going to be on the radio side of that microphone transformer in series. And uh, I wouldn't bother, uh, if you have any AC hum, then you may want to try a .01 ceramic to ground. Uh, but uh, I'd try uh, some good grounding uh, before you do that. So, And uh, Bob, uh, are you barefoot there from, geez, you're, you're 10 over. So I, I'm afraid when you hook that amp up that we're all going to be end up hiding underneath our benches here. So anyway, all right, this is WB1E uh, back to net. Thank you, Doug. I'll do that. All right, Doug. Well, talking about signal strength, you're about uh, plus 20 on my Drake meter over here in East Texas. So you're uh, banging it out, too. Well, thank you. That's really a good news. I've never, never, I tried to, to mess with a long wire, and it really didn't work. I didn't have the long ladder line yet. I may do it uh, in the future. But, uh, yeah, just an Amadon uh, T300, 4 to 1 ballon, uh, right up top on the spreader bar. So that's the story. I'm sticking to it. Back to net. All right. Yeah, I built a dedicated dipole to this frequency. Uh, got a one-to-one -one air core uh, choke in there, and uh, it's about 45 foot. It's kind of saggy on one side, but that's all right. Uh, that that kind of looks like it's old master there. Over. Maybe it's something that the New York Roger, Roger. I've never heard you louder, Doug. I'm sorry, Jeff. Uh, you say again? I've never heard you louder. That thing's working well for you. That antenna is great. Well, thank you very much, Jeff. I just had to go down the wrong pipe here. So, Well, guys, I tell you, it's been a long time I've had this tower up, and, you know, we had some problem with it being crooked. But uh, i got a buddy down at Canyon Lake, and he may be going to that hardware store. His name's... Uh, Charlie Watts. 
Unfortunately, he had an electro fire at his house. He's on the north side, and uh, he probably is visiting that uh, <laughs> that Ace Hardware quite a bit. So, good old Ace Hardware. I've just been there today. So, anyway, this is WB1E. Thanks, Jeff. Right back at you, brother. Back to net. All right, good deal. Uh, thank you there. KL7CD. Hey, Mike, uh, come on in there and tell us what you got going on tonight. Okay, well, not much. I've been listening here for a while. Even before the net started, band sounds like it's in pretty good condition. Everybody's got super signals. Audio sounds good. Signal strength's good. The barefoot stations sound as good as the ones with amplifiers. I mean, they sound as good, but they also sound almost as strong. It's incredible. We had a beautiful day here today. Oh, not much clouds. It was cool in the morning. It warmed up to about 73, 74 degrees, something like that. Okay, so tonight I'm running uh, my old reliable Helicrafters twins from about 1962. Uh, the receiver is controlling the receiver and transmit frequency. I have the matching power supply and speaker. And I'm running that into a big green box, the Sugar Baker 220. And no tuner in line straight out to a, a dipole up about 25 feet. And the microphone's a D104. I have no idea if this has a replacement crystal or if it's the original, but it works good and I like it. Anyway, that's about it from here. I, uh, back to you. Um, uh, let's see. Whiskey 5 CMK KL7CD. All righty there, Mike. Yep, it's sounding great up here as always. Uh, I don't think uh, there's a bad signal that I can remember ever come out of that shack over. Okay, well, I appreciate it. I'm working on a couple of 20As, and maybe if I ever get them to where they'll load up to some wattage, you can hear a bad signal, QSL. <laughs> well, we won't hold you to that. All right, good deal. Let's see. Let me grab one more. I'm going to grab Jeff, W5OMO, and then I'm going to throw it over to uh, Jay. Go ahead there, Jeff. Oh, thank you, guy. W5CMK. All the boat anchors and uh, boats and anchors and everything else that are out there, W5OMR. I just got back about an hour ago, uh, an hour and a half ago now, I did a round trip down to Corpus Christi and back. And I took four pallets of water. And I thought to myself, what, they don't have water in Corpus? But maybe not. Um, <laughs> but 8,800 pounds on the trailer was uh, rough getting down there because they were pretty tall and catching a lot of wind. So it was an uh, easy sailor on the way back. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that, Doug. Uh, I'll say it again. That antenna is working for you. I've never heard a louder sudden out of you, even on 3900s in the morning. Uh, that 300 watts is the stoutest 300 watts I ever heard. And over to my buddy Jim, WD5JKO, I put the rig on AM, and you sound awesome on the, on the uh, D76. Hopefully you're hearing me okay on the uh, sideband receiver. Tonight we're running uh, not a boat anchor. It's the Kenwood TS50, although it's been around a while. But who doesn't quite qualify? That's all I would say. And I'm driving that into my old boat anchor. The Drake L7 amplifier, which I think has a has a dead 3500Z in it. I haven't pulled it apart to find out yet. And we're hello, making better than about 400 watts. And that's going into the uh, old boat anchor heat kit SA2060 tuner. Open wire line out, feeding the 75 meter delta loop apex of 30 foot. And the uh, it's, 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 it's waiting for me to get the power back up so I can raise the P point back up to 70 foot. So, but the uh, antenna is out there laying pretty close to the ground. It's uh, less than five feet in some places. But uh, at the end, they're about 25 feet where it's tied up. There's a lot of flat in it. So I need to get the apex pulled back up when this rain is in a stop. Uh, too much work and too many other things going on. Too many hours in the fire to to get that tower back up. And I really need uh, a hand uh, guiding it back up when I crank it back up. 
So it's uh, definitely a two-person job, but one of these days I'll get someone over here to help me. Normally my buddy John, WA5BXO, does that, but he's, uh, he's been tied up as well. I don't have much of anything else here, uh, guys. Like breathing. Good to hear everybody. Good to hear all the old signals and uh, KL7 CD. I like the way that uh, rig sounds. Bob, I'm sorry I didn't understand at first that you were looking for an audio line. But uh, uh, I got it now, and, and I agree with what the man said. A point one, a point oh one in series, or a point one in series uh, for blocking uh, DC, and uh, uh, a point oh one to bypass it to ground. Uh, we'll do the same thing, and you may raise you may raise your audio uh, response a little bit. Uh, point oh five, point oh one, uh, or point one, somewhere in that neighborhood. I believe that would do you all right. Anyway, that's about it for me, guys. I've talked longer than I normally do. There's a lot of other guys out here. I need to shut up. W five CMK and all the group. W five OMR. All right, Jeff. No, don't worry about talking too long. Well, right now, that's uh, what most of us got to do the. The uh, most time with is doing talking or looking at the TV, and looking at the TV just depresses the crap out of everybody. So, good deal. Uh, be safe on your travels. I know you probably still have to get out there and do some. So, uh, like I said, be safe. All right, hey, uh, Mr. J, KM5QS. This is W5CMK in a boat anchor. Uh, why don't you grab a few? Well, all righty. I'll call a few. I don't know about grabbing them, uh, social distancing and all, you know, uh, <laughs> sign of the times, I guess. Uh, I, let me put George out of his misery. Uh, WB5TXW. How about you, George? I got him early on. Oh, did you get George? I thought I did. Well, I'll be darned. Maybe I didn't. You better check. I might be crazy. Yeah, that was pre-net. Oh, well, maybe he thought that was net time. I don't know. George, are you there? No? Okay. Um, how about, uh, let me see if I can grab Perry. KB0UOZ. How about you, Perry? I'm up here listening, man. Old oh, guys out in California is kind of just making a run for us, but uh, uh, that's the way it goes. Well, I want to say, Jake, tonight we're on the uh, 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 Sugar Baker uh, 104A, uh, the Trans Saver, and I've got some AF balls. The magnet uh, the uh, 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 the 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 I thought I'd just use it here tonight. Need to exercise it a little bit. And I'm running the chair triple four bike again. And I'm Okay, Perry. Yeah, good deal. You're sounding fine. Uh, uh, yeah, you're you're coming over the top of those yahoos. So uh, uh, <laughs> I ought to take my cotton pick and uh, restrictor out and open this thing up. But uh, nah, I won't do that to my amplifier. Um, well, you sounding good, Perry. Good to hear you. Uh, this is KM5QS, Boat Anchors Unlimited. I forgot to tell you all what I was doing. I'm working off of a set of Kenwood Twins. Uh, it's the T599D and the R599D. And a uh, Alpha 374A with a pair of 3CX800s in it. Through a homebrew antenna and ladder line and tuner and all that stuff. So that's what's going on here. About 14.59 out at the moment. Could get worse, could get less. 
Let me see. Who else have I got? Oh, everybody else has been called. So, who else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited Net? Put on your AM filters and crank her up. Okay, let me... Wow, I've got a bunch out there. Let me start with SCD and then I'll pick up who I missed. Well, good afternoon, Jay and all the boat anchors. Boy, I'll tell you what, good signals tonight. K0, SCD, Tyler, Texas. Currently on the old Kenwood 520 and a Collins 30L1 dipole up 40 odd feet. And that's about it. Just, just hanging out, Jay. Good to hear all you guys. Back to you, Dad. Back to you, Jay. K0, SCD. Okay, Steve. Yeah, I love to hear a good signal come in over the left coast. <laughs> anyway, all right. Um, who's next? Whiskey Oscar Zulu. Whiskey Oscar Zulu. Go ahead. Yeah, good evening, Jay, and everybody else on the shipwreck, boat anchor, and that. Uh, this is Dan in Houston. I'm running a uh, Kenwood uh, TS830, and uh, you've got a uh, MC50 microphone up to that, and that's driving a uh, homebrew 4400 a amplifier, about 600 watts, and that's going up to a uh, two-band uh, uh, bazooka, 8040 bazooka. It's up there about 42 feet. And um, let's see, what else? Uh, uh, little John really sounded great on that 830. He's got, I don't know what he's using for a microphone, but, man, it's added great audio. And uh, Robert's uh, 440 I really liked. I know Sammy whines about those all the time, but that thing sounded good uh, the way you got it set up there, Robert. And, uh, of course, uh, Doug's... Uh, Swan was just hammering in since he changed that antenna up. Uh, that, that inverted re is really working. Uh, one quick question, uh, and I'll hurry with this, is uh, I'm looking for either the IF uh, board for a Kenwood uh, 530 or uh, L10 from the IF board or just a slug out of L10 from the IF board on a Kenwood uh, 530. Anyway, uh, I did uh, send Bob uh, FTF a, uh, an email. He doesn't have any boards for the 530, so I'm still looking. Anyway, that's it from here. Uh, thanks very much for letting me sneak in, Jay. K-W-O-Z. Uh, no problem, Dan. You might look around your junk pile and see if you can find anything that looks pretty close. Um, and, and, you know, it just might work. Yeah, that'd be my, that's going to be my next, uh-oh, that'll be my next move, I guess. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> well, all righty, I'll, uh, I'll see, I don't know, if, I don't think I have anything that will get even close, but um, if I hear or see of anything, I'll, I'll let you know. All right, Dan, uh, thank you, sir. You're sounding great, too. Uh, who's next for the Boat Anchors Unlimited? Zulu Sierra. Zulu Sierra. RX. Okay, I have HTR, and I think I've got uh, W5IS. Let me catch those two, and then I'll try again. Go ahead, Fred. Okay, good evening, Jay and the net. Uh, W5HTR in Richardson, Texas here. Electrical ability to decide. And uh, I'm talking on a uh, TR4. With a little bit of help from an FL 2000B, probably 350 watts worth or something. And then as a dipole. Um, so the apex is probably up at uh, 35 feet, maybe. If that. And uh, the microphone is a Sure 444. Seems like there are a lot of those around. Good to hear you. Everybody sounds good. The band is, sounds like it's in pretty good shape. Uh, I was on this morning, and uh, it was awful. Uh, on uh, 75, about uh, 5.36 o'clock this morning. But uh, tonight it sounds like it's doing, doing fine. Say hello to everybody that uh, I haven't talked to in a long time, and uh, it's good to be back on. I guess uh, we're all uh, going a little stir-crazy. Uh, sorry I missed uh, Belton. 
it, it just didn't work out this year. Uh, KM5QS in the net, W5HTR. Go ahead, Jake. Okay, Fred. Uh, good deal. Good to hear you. Y'all stay healthy up there. I got uh, I got family in and around the Metroplex, so y'all try to y'all, y'all do the best you can. Try to keep it down. <laughs> um, I found out today we do not have a single case in Alice. I don't know whether we're lucky or it just hadn't found us yet. But anyway, uh, it's good to hear you, Fred. Thanks a lot uh, for checking in and uh, stay safe. Okay, Whiskey 5 IS, Doug, if that was you, come ahead. That was B I Z, Jack. Oh, is that B I G? Okay, well, no that, uh, go ahead then. Okay, very good, Jay. Hope you can copy me. This is K5 B I Z, uh, North Dallas, Texas, in the colony. Handle here is Biz, just like the call sign B I Z. Uh, tonight, I'm running a World Radio lab door, lab, Laboratory uh, Dual Bander uh, 84. This was a rig back, made back in 1967 uh, at a cost of $139. The old uh, WRL cat box. Uh, it does 80 and 40. Use uh, a 2.6 HF5. And uh, I'm running it uh, yeah. about uh, 100 watts. 100 watts is to inverted me. 100 watts is to inverted me. And the microphone is the old SB34. Uh, microphone. It's the only mic that I have that fits uh, a PL68 jack, the uh, old military mic, uh, 60 PL68 jack. So I hope everybody's copying. All the signals are coming in pretty good to this old radio. So back to you, Jay. Uh, this is 73. Thanks. All uh, K5 BIZ. Oh, okay, Biz. Yeah, good deal. Sorry for it. <laughs> we had a little bit of interference coming in from somewhere. And uh, speaking of that, uh, yeah, yeah, George, you're 20 over. You're 20 over. Okay, speaking of that, the stations out there <laughs> that are causing a little bit of interference, I realize you seem to have some kind of a net going on. This is a sanctioned net uh, called the Boat Anchors Unlimited. We're here every Wednesday from 7 or 7.30 till we run out of check-ins. And we're not trying to interfere with you all but we're not going to shut down until we're done. So just be advised, uh, if we're causing a problem when we're done, you're welcome to the frequency. Other than that, this is KM5QS, one of the net controls, looking for check-ins on the Boat Anchors Unlimited net. Coming out, please. MOE, 5, Tango. 5, India. Okay, let me get MOE and LT. Go ahead, yeah, it calls WA5MOE. We're located in College Station. Handles Mike, and uh, just we're running a running a Collins KWM2A with a 30L1 into an inverted trap V, high gain trap V, and uh, everybody sounds pretty good so far. The band sounds pretty good tonight, and it's fun to turn the old radio on. And uh, it's interesting hearing what all kinds of stuff everybody's using here, t- using tonight, too. It makes me want to get some of that stuff, too, some of which I've had, too. Anyway, y'all have a good evening, and stay safe. And, uh, and uh, hey, if you're going to have the Corona, make sure it's a case, a Corona case of, like, 12 bottles of it. All right, y'all take care. Okay, Mike. Well, I've got a better idea. I don't like Corona, so I just drink Dos Equis. That, uh, keep the corona away from your door. But anyway, <laughs> thanks for checking in. Uh, all right, LT, go ahead. 12, yeah, this is a high five, LT. Good evening, Jay. Everyone on the net. Everybody's sounding good tonight. Uh, we're running the good old heat kit equipment tonight. Got the SB101 running and going through an SB221 amplifier through a heat kit tuner out to, uh, uh, it's supposed to be a double to the exempt. It's close enough. It's running oh, through the cedar goodness. trees, and, right. and it gets the job done. And it hasn't fallen down yet, so we're good to go. Uh, everybody's sounding good. Uh, we haven't gone stir crazy working out of the house for the past couple of weeks. 
So uh, that, that's that's always a good thing. So, well, back to you. K five LT. Good one. All righty. Good deal. Sounded great this evening. Well, I think I'm going to let Rusty take a shot. I uh, don't want to use it all up, and I'll uh, let you run interference for a little bit, Rusty. Crank that 35 up. KM5QS to WK5R. KM5QS to WK5R. Well, I'm doing all I can do right now, Jay. Uh, and uh, I think the church out west ought to look at their watch and realize that it is 7 o'clock here. Their net doesn't start for two more, about another hour and a half from now. I don't know what the hell they're doing on the air. But anyway, we're not on boat anchor tonight. We're on a 590. The audio technical microphone in the uh, uh, GS35B and the dive boat, which is uh, partially back up. So with that, who else for the boat anchor's unlimited come now? WB5TXW. Um, but I'm just repeating myself. I'm K5LRX. Go ahead, George. Down the road. Did you call me Rusty? Roger, Roger, Roger. Go, go, go. Uh, well, hello, Rusty, and all around the net. Proud to be here for the greatest hour of amateur radio for the week. What am I on? 32S175, S330L1, power supply, the column speaker box, all arranged on the library table. Bob CXG practically gave to me 41 years ago out to the 75-meter dipole. So things are A-OK -okay here, Rusty. Over. Roger, Roger, George. Appreciate you checking in there. Okay, K5 LRX. Go ahead, Jack. Hey, how you doing, guys? Uh, just enjoying the uh, the, the uh, diversity of equipment. Well, I'll tell you, that, <coughs> excuse me, my voice is uh, in pretty sick shape. Hopefully, it's just uh, just oak pollen and not something worse. You know, you're talking about a case of Corona. That's that's just about good to to, to cook a pound of sh uh, to cook ten pounds of shrimp. You, know, you throw the, the Corona in a big pot and throw the shrimp in there, and little Mexican spices, and uh, that's I think really its best its best purpose. So uh, you can't knock Corona. It's good to good to cook shrimp. It. I don't think I'd like to drink it, but it's good to cook shrimp. It. At any rate, that's the good old pair of uh, of uh, twins, the Kenwood twins, the uh, T nine uh, T five nine nine and a R five nine nine. And I'm enjoying the heck out of these old dudes. Uh, they seem to get the job done. Going into an LK-553, 3-500Z, into a uh, dual van double bazooka. The mic's a 444. All the mic that you that a 444 can be. Okay, you guys have a wonderful evening, and it's fun to talk with you, and fun, even more fun to listen. So talk with you soon. K-5, LRX-73. So, uh, I think that that a problem. All right, Zach, appreciate it. Uh, that idiot would shut up out there long enough to hear something. So, all right. Anyway, who else for boating than that limited? Echo one, Echo five, Zulu here. Um, is that an XP or something like that? Go ahead. This is AG five XP. Kenneth and Brownwood, Central Texas. You can work from home. Thank you for letting me get in. Uh, so, yeah, I guess in two weeks we'll have a, you, you know what, this, this kind of reminds me of a station in Brownwood, go ahead, they're walking all over you. Okay, I'm operating on a TS-530, running through a East Kit 2040 tuner, out to a G5RV antenna homebrew. The day before, they can basically give you the zip code where it's going to hit. Right, barefoot. This, this kind of, kind of reminds me of that, and, you know, Oh, well, I know there was a station in Brownwood, but I can't hear you because that idiot will not shut his mouth long enough to realize somebody else is here. Right, right. Who else is Come now. November 5th, Go ahead, Marty. I appreciate it, Rusty. Zulu here. Romeo Tango Yankee. And I'm located in Longview, Texas. I'm on the old ACFT 102 tonight with the companion FB 102 DMVFO. 
and if they won my uh, you know, that's uh, why barefoot, that's weird, and to an extent, he's up at about uh, 50 feet. And that's about well, it, right? Uh, back to you, N5KBP. All right. Jesus sounds fine there, Marty. Appreciate you checking in. Who else in the boat has unlimited? Come now. Zulu Sierra, Zulu Sierra. Uh, Zulu Sierra, try it. Still one echo five, Zulu Sierra, an old 830. And hopefully you can hear me. I know the band is terrible. But good to hear you, Rick. 73, kilowatt echo five, Zulu Sierra. Uh, okay, I think you said you were on an 830. It sounds good from what I can hear. Uh, those guys shut up long enough and realize there's somebody here. I know damn well they hear it. So anyway, appreciate you checking in there. Who else is Bowen Anchors Unlimited? Come now. K5 okay, India, November India. Mexico. All right, let me November India, go ahead. Oh, I'm not blowing too much your direction. Uh, KD5AY, I was, I'm was. i part of the 3916 group. Got to talking about an ICOM R9000 receiver only, and he said maybe I need to bounce this off of you guys, see if anybody has one. Okay, uh, you're about 20 over here. Uh, he's uh, looking to see if anybody out there might have an R9000. That's an I, uh, I believe that is an ICOM receiver. Yeah, I got to talking to them about it. Uh, no one seems to have any. I have an R71A right now that I'm thinking to upgrade, and I can go to a 72 or a 75, but I didn't want to jump all the way to an 8600 or a 9500, and I got to poking around, and I wound up with this government issue R9000 and 9000L, which is basically a screen thing, and um, uh, but no one seems to know about it. I've I've seen a couple kind of little quickie things on YouTube. Uh, folks that have them go yay, but uh, I don't know anybody that has one. I don't either, but I can make a couple of suggestions. Call uh, I believe that is a later model rig, so you might try uh, googling mods.dk. They have a lot of manuals and stuff. You might be able to come up with something there, over. Yeah, I got you on that. Uh, I just I, I haven't heard anything bad about them. Uh, Eham had them listed. Uh, everybody loved them. And it's basically my 71 on steroids. And I was, I was looking for something that had a screen on it. I don't need a waterfall, but I want the other part. And uh, uh, instead of jumping all the way to throwing a transceiver down here and uh, and piddling with it. Because the only thing I do with it in the morning is listen, and I'm not transmitting anywhere. And I just wanted something that's maybe a little bit more sensitive, and uh, this seems to have it. <laughs> roger, roger. Okay, uh, yeah, this is the Boat Anchors Unlimited Net. We do the old uh, two-type stuff there. Uh you have anything else for the net before I move on? No, sir. I'll back away and appreciate the info. Roger, Roger. Okay. Appreciate it there. Uh, okay. Uh, who else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited come now? And by BTM. Go ahead, Ralph. Yeah, uh, good evening, Rusty and the net. This is Ralph and 5 BTM. And tonight we're using the Kenwood TS520. With a Share 444D microphone. Driving a little homebrew amplifier using a single 3500. And we're running about 600 watts and going through a uh, Drake MN 2700 antenna tuner. So that's about the size of it. And uh, I guess I ought to turn my mic game down a little bit. I'm uh, uh, getting out of the ALC. Anyway, back to you there, Rusty, in 5 BTM. Okay, Ralph. 520 sounds great there. At least those guys have shut up for the moment anyway. All right. Appreciate you checking in. Who else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited? Come now. Five Lima. I heard five something, but I didn't get it. Five Lima. Oh, okay. Is that, uh, is that WB5L or is that K5, uh, 
Oh. Hello. Oh, that's the one in uh, San Antonio. A kilo Charlie Five Lima. Okay, that's K- KC KC Five L. Oh, my tongue ain't working right there. Go ahead. Hey, good evening, Rusty. In the Bone Anchors Nest this is Tom KC Five L in San Antonio. And uh, tonight we're running the uh, Central Electronics 200B and a D104 microphone and uh, open wire uh, feeder and a uh, doubled up about 15 feet and we're listening on an R398. So, uh, usual station here and uh, that's all I have. So, uh, back to you, Rusty, KC5L. Okay, I believe, it's, uh, I believe it's Tom over there if I'm not mistaken. I appreciate you checking in there. Yeah, that was one of the two I thought it was when you said that. <laughs> I had to make sure which one. Yeah, the... Uh, Central Electronics 200B sounds good, and uh, Roger on the RC390 uh, there. All right. Who else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited come now? Echo Zulu Papa. No, Zulu Papa, go ahead. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is uh, WD5EZP, uh, Gene in Beeville. And I uh, just wanted to report that last week I checked in and I got a I got a hold of a, a Brian, a Byron, WA5EDX, and I've got a, a 520 secured as soon as the country straightens this uh, coronavirus out so we can get together and I can pick it up. But uh, that's basically it. I just want to let you guys know that, and uh, I'll uh, let you have it back. Rusty, WD5EZP. Okay, yeah, glad to hear that. We'll be looking forward to uh, hearing you getting that on here and joining us with uh, something that glows in the dark there. <laughs> Who else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited? Come now. Oh, wait a minute. Try it again. I got two or three there, and I didn't get none out of all of them. Whiskey 5, Tango Lima, Juliet, Terrian, Bank, Texas. Uh, can anybody catch that station better than me? Uh, try it again. Uh, I got Whiskey 5 Tango. What was the last of your call? 5 TLJ. Tango Lima Juliet. Oh, I know who that is. That's Terry at Banks. Go ahead, Terry. Yeah, I'm, on, I'm not on a boat anchor. I'm on the Icon 7300. Uh, that would uh, put you both on the phone. Roger, I lost you there, Terry, but in you know, all the mess that's going on there. Uh, uh, but it's working over. Is that better now? And, uh, that's a little bit better. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm, on a, I'm not on a boat anchor. I'm on a 7300. Roger on the 7300. Uh, he must be running barefooted, and I've got that AM or mom in us over here. So uh, I'm sorry. We'd, maybe the band will get better. Those guys will go away one or two. I doubt it. But anyway. You said me 300's working. All right. Who else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited in it? I think there was another couple in there. WA5EDX. Hey, go ahead, Byron. Yeah, good evening, Jay, and everybody else on the net. Shout out to Gene down there in Beeville. He's down and good up here in Bluffdale. Uh, tonight I'm barefoot. Glad everybody, glad some people can pick me up anyhow. Uh, barefoot on the FT101EX. I've been working on today. Uh, actually, I had I wasn't doing any major repairs. It had a LED out on the front panel. There's two little red LEDs on these 101s. One for the VFO and one for the clarifier, or not the clarifier, yeah, clarifier. Uh, the VFO LED is real easy to get to and real easy to replace. Uh, but the clarifier LED, they they hang, they hang it in the air and then build the whole radio around it, so you can't get to it. So it's probably, probably close to two hours to get that puppy uh, uh, changed out. So, you know, Murphy's Law, that would be the one that would go out, the one that can't be replaced. Uh-huh. At least they said it could. Uh, that's all I know for sure, and uh, that's all the frustration I have for today. Uh, shout out to everybody. Hope everybody's staying six feet apart. And uh, uh, stay out of Walmart. Thank you, guys. Double J five E D X. All right, Byron, this is rusty, <laughs> rusty anyway. But yeah, I got all that. I know exactly what you're talking about on the 101 there. And 
I don't know. That clarifies a little weird on them things. Time. I, uh, I never did run it. I tried it, but it didn't work. So yeah, that's before I got the thing realigned right. <laughs> anyway, appreciate you checking in. I think it was one more station. I'll try one more, then I'm gonna uh, turn it back to me so I can catch my breath there. Okay, uh, I think it was one more station out there to, uh, to check in to the boat uh, unlimited coming out. Yeah, I apologize as well as us. Hope it stays that way and. Uh, yeah, Bob had mentioned before that my town. Okay, the, uh, the, who was that station? The, uh, the AM station was coming in with. Right, I don't know if you call it a hotspot, but uh, yes, I saw those uh, statistics too. Uh, yeah, and that's what I was going to say. Okay, was there one more station out there that wanted to check in the Bold Anchors Unlimited Net before I turn it to Lynn? Somebody from, uh, I forget what state it was, but out in the Midwest somewhere. Yeah, if it is, I can't copy them. K5LYN, uh, WK5R, take it, Lynn. Well, I don't know if you can hear my 300 watts, Rusty. How about it? How's my frequency, K5LYN? You're good, Lynn. I can hear you fine. Nice and loud. All right. Well, <laughs> the, uh, the AM is pretty loud, too. I may have to give it to somebody else. We've got a big group here. This is K5LYN, Lynn in Austin. Uh, who else for the boat anchors? Calling and listening. With me, 5 Delta Kilo. Okay, Don DK, talk to us. Yeah, good evening, Lynn, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Everybody sounds good. Uh, we're just running the plain old uh, TR4 through an L4 and uh, out through a double extended zip using a good old D104. And hearing everybody, including California. Back to you, Lynn, W5. D. Yeah, the band is amazing. We haven't heard these guys this loud in a long, long time. And uh, we've had a huge group tonight. Great to hear you, Don. You're sounding great. Anything else for the net tonight? No, sir. Everybody stay safe. Good deal. Okay, let me see. Did we, did we ever find WV5TXW? George, are you over there? <laughs> okay, I didn't know if we got you or not. It's been such a big group, it's confusing. Okay, who else for the boat anchors? K5LYN calling and listening. Uh, W5MSN, did I get that right? That's 65 Mike Sugar Mike. Name here is Matt, located in uh, Glade Water, Texas. Running an old SB-102. I think you can watch the news right now today and Mike Sugar Mike. You need to hear everything you need to hear if you watch it. Okay, Matt. Well, I'll tell you what, the guy in California is about as loud as you are, but we do hear you. We haven't talked to you before, have we? Negative. I have. This is my first time to check in. Well, you're quite welcome here. Uh, we, a little bit earlier than this, the band wasn't so long, but we're kind of surprised by what's going on. Uh, anyway, your SB-102 is uh, sounding great. You have an amplifier with it, or is that barefooted? I am running barefoot, uh, completely barefooted. Okay. okay, tell me what the QTH is once again. I am located in uh, the tiny woods of East Texas, a little town called Gladewater. Uh, about 100 miles east of Dallas and 70 miles west of Shreveport, Louisiana. Over. Okay, one of our net controls, W5CMK, is uh, in that general area. You may know him, but uh, nice to make your acquaintance, Matt. We're here every weekend. I mean, we're here every Wednesday, so come by when you can. Over. Roger that. This is Whiskey 5, Mike Sugar Mike. Yeah, I think we got it. MS MSM. All right. Uh, nice job with the heat kit there. All right. Who else for the boat anchors? K5LYN calling and listening. YMF. Uh, who was that? I heard the suffix. Who was that? Uh, K5YMF. Oh, Barry. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, doing all right, Lynn. Thanks for picking me up. Yeah, this evening I'm on my uh, 500C, uh, Swan 500C. It's a uh, Spotless radio, you might have seen one like it. Uh, uh, got a simple dipole up, and uh, the squirrels won't mess with it anymore. Uh, got it retuned today, and uh, George helped me out uh, uh, making sure it was working. But anyhow, I was going to tell you about your radio. You're uh, uh, cheap and easy. I think that's uh, uh, that's my favorite one. I think it sounds better than a uh, Central Electronics, uh, just my opinion. I kind of look at the... Um, I guess it's the poor man's flex. The uh, the uh, uh, waterfall display at uh, the Walter uh, Radio Club in Houston. Got it on the computer, and I watch it sometimes. And it's actually got a, I think it's got a cleaner signal. So you may 
you may check it out and listen to the uh, recording on it and then see what you think. But uh, I think that's a better radio, uh, KF5 YMF, back to that. Yeah, Barry, most people say that. Uh, well, KG7TR is an absolute master, you know, and uh, he, he does beautiful work. And, and that's the consensus, that this sounds the best of the bunch. But uh, anyway, hey, you know, a Swan 500 is a pretty good radio. I used to have one. Over. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it might be over here now. Yeah, this is the uh, the 500C. There's a fun out. It's the 500C early. There's a uh, the 500C late, which is more like the 500CX, and it's yeah. got an extra knob and a, I think one more one one or two more stops on uh, on uh, one of the capacitors there. But uh, anyway, great radio. It's spotless, man. I like it. And uh, gonna have to get an amplifier one these days. Maybe I can build one like you built there, that homemade one, man. That's uh, that's slick. Anyway, back to that there. Let somebody else have a chance. KF5 YMF. Yeah, it's talking up a storm, Barry. Really, really good. You sound great. All right, who else for the boat anchors? K5LYN, calling and listening. I'm not sure anybody came back to me. I may be fixing to give it to Guy. Hey, Guy, W5CMK, you want to try to make some sense out of this? K5LYN. K5LYN at the boat anchor. Yeah, I'll make some sense out of it because I'm here in uh, Dwayne up there in. Uh, Monster, Texas. Come on in, W5, uh, WV5I. Yeah, good evening, Guy, and everybody on the boat anchor. Uh, this is Dwayne, WV5I in Munster, and uh, we're on a round emblem down the line, except for the 30S1. It's a winged emblem. Uh, the only thing that's not Collins is the Drake. The antenna is an inverted V at 35 feet. Go ahead. Sounding good down here as always. I uh, hope everything's going your way up in that part of the world. Oh, yeah, everything's going. Uh, that's about it. We've had three cases of the virus in the county. Two of the people resided out of the county. They're health care workers. But we're just sitting tight and uh, waiting to see what's coming. Yeah, that's kind of what we're doing here. We're just kind of keeping our head down and trying not to rock the boat. That way maybe the stuff don't splash up on us. Well, there you go, and we are still out of toilet paper, so if you find any, send it up here. <laughs> Actually, was able to buy a whopping four pack, four roll package today. Well, good for you. Well, anyway, uh, good evening to everybody. It's 73. We hope to hear everybody again next week. All right, good to hear you, Dwayne. We'll talk to you next week. Sounding good. Anybody else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited, come now with your call sign suffix, please. JJI. Alpha Alpha India, I believe. Oh, uh, this is N5 JJI. Okay, yeah, Juliet, Juliet India. I'm sorry, I got cotton in my ears. Go ahead. Okay, now I'm not running a boat anchor tonight, but I just wanted to come in and say what a, what a great net it was tonight, and uh, great to hear all the old equipment. I'm just running an old Kenwood 430 into a uh, inverted V up about 40 feet and uh, having having a blast listening in. N5 JJI. All righty. Well, where, uh, what part of the world are you in? I'm in New Braunfels. Okay, New Braunfels, Texas. Yeah. Just uh, don't get too close to the river. It's liable to sweep you away as much rain as we've had up this way. The numbers are different. No. <laughs> you know what? I, I check off every box on the uh, on the. You ought to be careful. Uh, scale about this virus, and so I've been virtually isolated for 21 days already, and uh, uh, about the only thing I can do is get on the radio and make some noise every now and then. Well, all righty. Well, you know, that's the, this is the original social networking. Uh, over. Yeah, I sure appreciate it, too. I, I just cranked back up. I was licensed about 30 years ago and just cranked back up about a year ago and uh, and trying to get everything set up right. I've, I've got three boat anchors staring at me right now and it just didn't get any of them warmed up. Well, you can uh, make up for that difference next week. Good to you. Comment. I'll just say 73's around and uh, everybody stay safe and healthy and I'll be listening in. N5 JJI. Go ahead, comment. Yeah, Ed, this is Doug, uh, WB1E. Don't you have that uh, those tubes in that Clipperton glowing tonight over? Doug, uh, 
<laughs> no. <laughs> I've just got this old TS-430 barefoot tonight. Uh, I, I, I kind of stubbed my toe and, and uh, burnt out on him for a little bit. And, uh, I'm just getting out here and getting up again now. But I... Yeah, I was, uh, boy. The memory doesn't last. All right, Dad. Well, you're sounding fine barefoot. Take care in 7-3. Good to hear from you. Oh, I know what I was going to say. <laughs> I'm looking right at it. All right, anybody else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited come now, please. Two weeks ago or three weeks ago when, when the crap hit the fan and, uh, you know, we realized we, we were in for... Well, Jay, I may have run out of candidates. You want to give it a whirl? Uh, Cam 5 QS, it is W5CMK and the Boat Anchors. And it was... Well, I'll give it a shot. I don't know if those guys are in California or not. I don't recognize the accent. Doesn't really make much difference. But at any rate, all right, folks, this is the Boat Anchors Unlimited Net. Um, kicking this little amplifier in the teeth as hard as I can. <laughs> is there anyone that we haven't talked to yet that would like to check in? Come now, please. And I'll come in here and get Alpha Delta Charlie. All right, Rick, go ahead. Boy, you're, you're coming over them guys good. Uh, I'm cheating a little bit. I looked up and uh, I've been working on the bench on on one of my radios and uh, I'll be. Anyway, I'm on the, I'm cheating, I'm on the 940S uh, 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 AL 1200 amp and uh, inverted V. And that's what's going on tonight. Okay. Well, cool. That's um, good. Glad to hear from you. By the way, uh, as soon as the, the uh, pandemic gets to where we can manage it a little bit, uh, uh, Gerald's going to uh, come up here and get another set of twins. How about that? Well, good deal. Uh, he will uh, enjoy working on them. <laughs> well, these he shouldn't have any problem with. I know they work well. I've gone through them, and uh, I think they're all working pretty good, and all the patch cords are in good shape. So <laughs> that was unfortunate last time. But anyway, I'm, he may be listening. Um, but anyway, I just thought I'd let you know. It's good to hear you. Yeah, I'm, uh, I try to get on uh, at least once a month. Uh, like I said, I've been trying to stay busy around here, and I got too busy. So, oh, well. And I'm uh, glad to hear you got some. Well, that's the way it goes. Uh, see, either, either you don't have enough or you got too much, but um, yeah, it'll level out someday. Thanks, Rick. Appreciate it. Uh, I'll uh, see who else we can find. We've only had 35 check-ins so far. It's been a pretty good night. <laughs> All right. Anyone else that we've missed for the Boat Anchors Unlimited? Come now, please. L-O-Y-N, recheck. Go ahead. Hey, Jay. My wife's thinking I ought to spend some time with her tonight instead of talk to you guys on the radio. We've been going well over an hour here. It's been a great night. Fabulous. But it's time for me to move on. 73's to the group, and I will be around. K5LYN. Oh, okay, Lynn. Well, uh, it has been a while. Maybe we ought to... Uh, let me let me give one more call. And we'll see you later, Lynn. Uh, tell her hello for the rest of us. And uh, I'm going to take one more if they're out there. If not, pass it around and we can uh, relinquish or whatever you call it. So this is KM5QS, Boat Anchors Unlimited, one more time. Uh, I guess not. Uh, appreciate it. It's been a great net. Thank you, guys. We know what it takes. And we appreciate it. So we'll see you next Wednesday. 73s from KM5QS. Your turn, Rusty. All right, KM5QS, WK5R. I'll, I'll throw out one more call, and I'll just go ahead and tie the ribbon on it then since we've gone around twice. And it took us it took us only going around twice. <laughs> we had so many check we only got able to go around twice. So we'll do it anyway. All right, who, anybody else left out there we had not talked to yet wants to check into the Boat Anchors Unlimited? Come now. I think that's somebody in that other group there. Uh, anyway, something I just thought about, the folks back east that, that join in with those guys out west on the uh, AMI net, 
they are actually later than we are now, so uh, it might be that that might have something to do with it. Anywho, we appreciate everybody checking in because without y'all, me and Jay and Lynn and Guy, whoever else is uh, doing the net controls, wouldn't be able to do this without y'all. We know what it takes to get these old rigs on the air and keep them going. Well, we'll look for y'all next week and uh, appreciate everybody checking in. Uh, this is WK5R with the Boat Anchors Unlimited Net. We are now going to close the net and return its frequency back to normal amateur abuse. WK5R.